Hey guys, Adam here in the AeroWorks Workshop and today we're going to be doing a little project for the Super Duty. But I want to step back just and say that one of the reasons I went with Viking aircraft engines is because they're innovative, they're constantly evolving, they're always trying to put out the best product. And that's what we have here today. Now it was just a, a month or so ago, maybe even less, that uh, Jan had put out this new uh, intercooler duct kit. Uh, he sells it as a kit. I'm sure he'll be implementing it on the new aircraft. And instead of a cowl hole with uh, flex tubing and trying to get all that lined up with the uh, current intercooler ducting that's inside of the cowling, they came up with this straighter shot um, unit that'll basically allow you to have a small uh, scoop on the left side of the aircraft that gives you direct shot cold air right into that intercooler. So today we're going to go through how to assemble this, build it, and then we'll be showing you where it's going to go on the aircraft and eventually getting it installed. But again, this is something that you don't get with other engine manufacturers. Not only do you not get a lot of support, but you don't get the instant innovation and creation of new and exciting items like you do with Viking aircraft engines. So I want to thank uh, Jan and Alyssa over at Viking for getting me one of these scoops. We're going to get it assembled and get it on the Super Duty. All right, to get started, uh, you're going to need the four pieces provided in the kit, which is going to consist of the two curved sides, the large flat piece with the tabs, and the end piece here. You're also going to need some copper Clecos and your Cleco pliers. Now, the easiest way to get started is, the first thing you might say is, well, where I see these two curved pieces, and I can see how that makes a curve, but where's the other curved piece at? Well, it's actually right here, and you'll notice that this has some bend to it because of the way the notch has been cut out. But you don't want to try and bend this ahead of time. What you want to do is actually lay your piece down, your, one of your side pieces on here. And just so you know, this side piece has a notch on each side. That notch is going to be flush with the face of the large flat piece because that's what's going to rivet up to the intercooler itself. So what I did, the easiest way to do this, is just to start at one end, bring your flat piece, let's see if I can get this to where you can see it, up to the end, flush with the end, and match up that first hole. Okay, so now I've got one Clico in here, and you notice that it is flush with the end of the piece. And then what I simply do from that point is take a Clico and I can simply use this piece to bend and roll around the holes on the flat portion. So as soon as I see the next hole, I can put a rivet in there, or excuse me, a Clico in there, and just keep continuing the process until this piece is Clico together. Now I'm gonna turn it so it's facing my direction so I can see it. And then we'll show you here in just a sec. So I rotate, there's a the Clico. And this will slowly start to take that curved shape. Again, rotate, Clico. And I am doing every hole here. I know a lot of times we skip every other hole, but in this piece here, since we're actually shaping it too, it's good, at least on the first one, to do every hole. That way we keep it nice and tight and we can get a nice roll as we go around here. Again, lines, holes lined up, and into the next one, and we'll just continue this all the way. We've got about six more holes here to go. Holes lined up. Keeping the piece nice and uh, 90 degree to the large flat piece. Pushing down flat on the table, curving it. And you can see how this is, how this is turning out here. It's making a nice curve, the piece is nice and tight. And we'll continue doing that. We've got three more Clecos here. And there's one. And we got one more here, and this one's a little snug, but it's turning out just fine. Right there. 
Okay. Now you can see that we have Clecoed and we have a nice perfect curve on here. We're going to repeat this with the other side and then we'll jump back here in just a second to show you the finished Clecoed part put together. All right guys, so we're back at it. We've got everything Clecoed here together and we've added a couple more tools. We got the riveter and we've got a drill to clean out any holes. Because the uh, larger aluminum piece is on a bend, it does put a little bit of friction on the holes and sometimes they don't line up perfectly. And so you just kind of have to clean them up real quick. So what we're basically gonna do is that standard, remove a Clico, every other Clico here and uh, start dropping some rivets in. If they drop in, great. If not, we'll, we'll have to throw uh, some cleanup in there with the drill bit. Most of these are going in okay. This one had a little bit of, you know, just like that, a little bit, nothing, nothing major. Okay, come down here. Basically, just like any other item on the plane that you're riveting together, you know, try and keep the skins or the, the you know, sheet metal adhered to whatever bracket you're riveting it to as tight as you can. And in this case, we have a curve here. So now that we have it all tightened up, we can go ahead and start riveting. And there we go. Just simply go along this edge here. And then once you get every other rivet in, you just go back, take the Clecos out and finish up the rest of those rivets. And you can see here, it doesn't take too long really to get through. A short amount of riveting. See, that's one there that'll be a little tough because the end wants to boing out on you. So you'll have to pull that one in and stick the rivet in there. So we'll do all these middle ones first here. Looks good there. Let's see if we can get one in this last one here. We'll pull this in. Get that guy in there. This one I'm going to provide a little support on as I rivet it. There we go. this last guy in here and then we'll uh, speed it up a little bit. And there we go. We have all the rivets in. Nice looking piece here. We'll just continue doing the other side and then we'll pick it up uh, once we're all finished. Well, there it is, guys. It only took about 15, 20 minutes to kind of lay all the pieces out, clico it together and then rivet it. Um, so now it's just a matter of removing the old one the top and bottom four uh, rivets or two rivets on each side, four total, and then we'll fit it up. Maybe at that point we'll look at, do we want to paint this or maybe even uh, powder coat it? Um, and then when we get to 
putting the cowling on or fitting the cowling up, we'll look at how much actually sticks out and how can we maybe integrate that into the lower cowling. So uh, for now, guys, that's just a quick little project. Still working on the Super Duty. Hope you like what you're seeing. Uh, if you do, make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below. We do read all the comments. If you have a question, concern, comment, recommendation, let us know and we'll answer you back. And uh, for now, it's Adam and the Arrowworks Workshop and we'll see you on the next video.